Hey everybody, today we're going to play Mr. Goodcat's full test deck. Mr. Goodcat played a similar deck to this up at the very top of the ladder, top 10. The big differences between my deck and his is really just the gold cards. Instead of Drought, he has Ragnarok. And instead of Dandelion, he has Vernon Roach. Both cards are really good cards. And um, I think that Dandelion needs to be a little appreciated a little bit more because he's like 17 points when played if you have roach in your deck that's pretty big especially in a full test deck so the basic strategy of this deck is to win round one with everything other than reaver hunters uh lose round two by playing siri and thaler and then win round three with your reavers now, Dandelion helps protect you against Scorches, so that's one another reason why I put him in the deck. Uh, of course, you have Operator. The Reaver Hunter's bond is very powerful. Every additional Reaver Hunter you have on the board acts as kind of a, an exponential growth of all the other Reaver Hunters. So if you have one Reaver Hunter on the board, all Reaver Hunters get one point. If you, you place two, all of them get two points. If you place three, all of them get three points simultaneously. And if you put four, all of them get four bonus points. That means 16 bonus points on the fourth one, on top of its original value. Or what it's a, the value it had before you placed it. That's, that's why Reaver Hunters are extremely powerful. Um, so... With that basic strategy in mind, we're going to go into a game I think will showcase the basic strategy of this deck and give you a good idea. If you want to see more games, um, I have a link to the uncut footage in the description along with the deck guide and list by Mr. Goodcat. Have a good day and enjoy the games. <laughs> Dagon, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever beaten da Dagon. It's up to... It's good. It would be useful to look at it. Okay, we're going to have to push out that, the Lock Mono Protector. We definitely want to keep the Reaver Hunters in our hands, and we can push out a Reaver Scout. Okay, that's all fine. Okay. We're going to have to start off with a uh, full test, of course. We have a really good round two so we're going to aim to win this round we're pretty good against weather because we have both the redanian elect night elect and we have the kudani siege support okay we don't mind that we're gonna put this up here Press those vermin because we don't really put anything in the melee row okay Expect that we don't mind. We've done this rodeo before. Uh oh, actually, Trouble I think approaches. I tied the last time I did this rodeo. This is where um, a certain other gold card becomes real handy. Okay, can't do much about that guy. That. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, Phew, messes up my combo a ton. Maybe I should have just played Dandelion already. Uh, let's put this here. Long live, etc., etc. We can, um, hmm. gonna swipe it that's fine I guess oh because he has no armor smart the quill is mightier than the sword okay and we will now buff you you and leave. 
That's a casual 17 point gold there. <laughs> We don't really want to push this round too much now that he's kind of wrecked everything that we wanted to do, but we'll live. I forget if I uh, buffed. Okay. We're gonna now play this. I told you so, you idiot. For oh, uh, this doesn't add any armor to it. We want to win, so. Yield and save me some time. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll just target that because we don't want to actually break the eggs. If he's not ahead of us after playing this card, we'll... Okay, so he gets one card ahead, which is fine. But we win the round, and we keep our win condition. Which is what this deck is about. You win round one, you keep your win condition, you beat round three. So we're going to play Thaler and Siri next round. Okay, we got a lot of important cards here. Okay, we're going to... Um... I don't think there's a card I want to get rid of from this hand, so we're not going to get rid of anything. I'm going to start off with Thaler. Oh, I see you've thought about this. Uh, I think Death Molt is the better card. No. I forget what it is. Um, Death Molt might be very helpful, so I'm going to take him. I don't know what... Ha uh, his, does he shuffle the other one in? Yeah. The Reaver Scout can be pulled with uh, reinforcements. That's why I don't you need talked it. enough. Okay. Ho ho! I sense trouble. Okay, he's going to be forced to play one more card. It's good. We're going to probably uh, Azure. Should we Azure's double cross in the last round or in this round? Because Azure's double cross is so many points. Okay, he used a gold card. I don't care. <laughs> Use that gold card. I'm going to pass now. We have an answer to gold cards. Eh, let's see what card we get as our last card. Don't want to... Eh, yeah, that's a fun card. We're going to keep all of these cards. We're going to start off with Siri because she's the safe card. You want to start off cards that your opponent can't interact with. To prevent them from getting an easy advantage on you. So, right here, we're going to be winning with the uh, Reaver Hunter combo. And I played Dandelion instead of um, uh, Roach. Vernon Roach. Our opponent must make a decision. We hope they make a wise one. That doesn't take too long. Because they have weather, and we're going to have to wait for the uh, close to the end of the round to deal with any weather. Okay, our opponent has not has used one of their weather answers. They've used also their um, silver weather answer, so we actually use weather against them if we end up uh, going that route. Oh, oh, I so we're going to just play this. Our opponent seems to be having trouble making a decision, so playing a gold card actually slows them down. I'm not sure if they have griffins, so I'm not going to uh, simply play Death Molt until I have a better idea what's going on. Plus, weather's reactive. So it's better to play it when I know it's going to hit something rather than not. Okay, he's going to eat something. I don't care. Uh-huh. Okay. Welcome, chosen one. <sighs> I could have played uh, this guy, now that I think about it. He would have been safe. Fairly safe, because he's not representing a lot of power. 
Oh, he does. Uh, I. Mm. I'm not hurt as much by that. Salutations. As I I'm not sure if I'm happy that he played the Fiend or not. We're gonna go start off with our highest point card first. Another option is to play um, Azure Sunder on that because he might have a decoy, but we don't want. We want to save just in case there's a clear skies, a really obvious clear skies moment here. Because we don't know what weather my opponent's going to use against us. That's very important to how we react to this situation. This is no time to whimper. Okay. Play this. This is no time now, of course, to whimper. we are vulnerable to Igni. It's important to note that. And we're vulnerable to Dimeridium Bomb. We're not vulnerable, however, to... Uh... <laughs> he doesn't have any way to remove weather now, but there isn't any good weather in our uh, deck to be played. So we're going to play one more card. Let's go! Probably, we might switch lanes after this if we're afraid that he has a uh, Dimeridium Bomb. So we're going to wait off on playing anything else. Okay, that's not that's a dumb move. Okay. Because I'm sure he has Crones as one of his cards. So we're going to put this here. This is no time to whimper. being consumed. Uh, well, actually, it must be a spell card then. Um, case it's weather. But we're broke as shit peddlers. What do you want? Okay, can he break 21 points of... Okay, that's what we kind of expected. This is no time to whimper. Our opponent forfeits, yay! <laughs> and we've got up a bit. We're getting close to our next rank. Have a good day, everybody.